Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to superimpose this magazine article that I've created right here to this magazine. So uh, first things first is you're going to want to make your magazine article like I have right here. Uh, this was done way back in 2012 when I was doing my magazine brief for our university. Uh, it's just an Assassin's Creed article, uh, pretty simply, simply laid out. Um, so first things first, once you've created your article, you want to have both pages open on the same document like I have right here. So this is the fourth page and this is the fifth page. Uh, and once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to create a new layer and you want to select the gradient tool. Make sure that this is selected on the gradient, this option. And then you just want to create a new um, gradient on top of this one and set it to overlay. I've already done it on the image, so I don't really need to add another one. But um, yeah, once you've added that overlay right there, it just gives that sh sort of shadowy effect in the middle. And that's what we want for when we're applying it to uh, the magazine. So whoopsie daisy, that was an accident. Thought I had the selection tool. Now what you want to do is grab the selection tool zoom in a little bit I guess, oh no I can't really do it zoomed in and you want to select half the page so where that part of the page ends and the other one starts so around there that's good halfway is about there what you want to do is copy that half go back to the magazine article where it's open uh, click on the top layer and you want to paste it there so now that it's pasted what you want to do is you want to right click on this layer and convert it to a smart object now that it's a smart object, we won't um, make any errors in uh, doing this. So what you want to do is press Control T and let's pull this in like this so it's around the same size. And what you want to do now is you want to turn down the opacity to around 40%, uh, just so you can see through and you can see the corners of the magazine. Okay, so now let's zoom in. And now that um, we've had it converted to a smart object, we'll get these lines and everything on the image. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to this corner, hold down control, and you'll be able to move it as you want. So we want to move that to around here. I'm not going to get everything perfect. I'm j I just want to show you how it's done. So let's put this to around there. And let's move this corner to, I think it's around there it should be. And for the last corner, we're going to move it to this corner. And there we have it. Uh, all four corners are on and ready. So now that you have all four corners on like so, what you want to do is keep zoomed in around here and you want to click on this button up top and this will allow us to warp the image uh, in the shape of the magazine. So what you want to do is drag this up to around there, I guess. We can drag this down. You want to make sure you don't get any white edges. I might have some white edges on this since I'm doing this kind of fast. But um, yeah, you just want to try as hard as you can not to get those white edges on the side. This one doesn't really matter since it's a black edge, but if you can, try not to get it because um, the reason I say it's not that important because it's a black edge is because there's shadow on here and it'll just look a bit more like shadow if you don't get it exactly right. So that's looking pretty good right there. So what we want to do is turn this up to 100% and press enter. And then we have it. We've got the right side of our page done. Now what we want to do is go back to uh, this file and press control shift I and that'll inverse the selection invert the selection sorry and we want to just copy that side and do the exact same thing on the other side so press ctrl v paste it in the uh, magazine article right there right click on that layer and convert it to smart object make sure to always convert to smart object so you can always resize it whenever uh, you get into something over here so now that it's at around the same size of the magazine what we want to do is change the opacity down to around 40 just so we can see through the sides like before Put that into around there, this corner to that corner, and once again just do it to all four corners of this page. Put that over there, and that over there. Okay, now that that's done, we've got to go to the second step, which is to click on the warp tool, and we want to drag this up so that they're sort of around the same. So let's drag this over to about there that along there and um, let's zoom in a bit more there we go it's looking quite nice actually and now to do the top and uh, don't really need to do that side that side's pretty good by itself and we'll just move this one up here and now we'll need to move this one around a bit more so to get it perfect there we go, stretch that up to around there, 
and it's looking pretty good as it is. So as you can see, the image is a little um, off balance because we've warped the corners a bit too much. So what you want to do is you just want to go in here and click wherever you want and just straighten it up a bit. Um, what you also might get is sometimes, as you can see, it's not really straight on. So if we can move this up like that. Um, oh, we don't want to move that part. We just want to move sideways, not up and down. So like around there. Of course, you do want a little bit of that bend just so it looks like the magazine's been bent itself. But um, that's looking pretty good. Press enter. Make sure it's at 100%, all at 100%. And there we have it. It's pretty much a complete magazine cover. Oh, inside done right there. But um, some other things you might want to know is instead of um, redoing this each time for each page in your magazine, some one thing you can do is you can right click on this layer and there will be an option to edit contents. Just click OK and then it'll just make that page right there. So if you've got another page like I have in here somewhere, uh, we'll just put this halo one in. And we'll drag it up so that it's around the same size. Mm. It might look a little weird since I'm not doing the dimensions perfectly. But um, just do it like that. Press Control S. It won't actually save a file, but it will change this one into the Halo file. So that now that that's done, what you can do is just right click on the other side. Once again, go to Edit Contents. Don't show again. Click OK. Paste the Halo picture in again. Hold on, I'll just find the halo picture again. Um, oh, I didn't copy the halo picture, so I have to drag it in again. And just bring it up to the top. Drag it down so that it's around the same. Press Control S. And there we have it. Another second page done in pretty much an instant. So you only really need to do it that one time and then save your file and then you'll be able to edit as many files as you want. So um, that was just a quick tutorial on how to superimpose images to a magazine. This is pretty much just a basic thing. Um, there are websites that have um, pre-made ones sort of like this, uh, but it's always good to learn how to superimpose stuff in case there's other items you want to superimpose uh, images to. So like maybe a coffee cup, maybe a book instead of a magazine, maybe a notebook, maybe pretty much anything so it's always good to know how to superimpose your images so once again i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, remember to hit the like button favorite subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace